Und jetzt sprechen wir im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes über den And now we're literally speaking about uh, the daily life of Alexander Gerst in space. It doesn't sound so far, but our signal goes over se several satellites. And there's always a little bit of a delay before he can hear me. Hello, Mr. Gerst. Uh, hello, Ms. Atalay. Wir haben Ihren Gaza-Tweet gerade gehört. Was überwiegt denn bei Ihnen, wenn Sie von dort oben auf die Erde sehen? Sind Sie überwältigt ob der Schönheit oder voller Mitleid, weil wir Menschen... Do, are you, when you look at uh, our planet, are you overwhelmed by the beauty or more by the pity of what we're doing to it? Ja, in mir hochkommt, wenn ich hier auf die Erde schaue. When I, when I look at the Earth, I can see how beautiful the Earth is, but I also realize how much smaller it is than I had originally thought when you compare it to the rest of the universe. And it's, it's surrounded by a very fragile atmosphere. Yeah, I see uh, the, the pollution. It's, it's just incomprehensible when you look at it from up here. It, it touches you emotionally. And that's the perspective that you take with you when you return to Earth. Yes, when you look at the small planet, it's the only one, the only one that we have, and if we uh, destroy that, then uh, there's nothing left for us. Dann gibt es hier bei uns auf der Erde nicht nur den Gaza-Krieg, sondern auch in der Ukraine-Krieg. So there's on uh, Earth here, we not only have war in Gaza, but also uh, the Ukraine as well. You're with uh, Americans and Russians up there. How, how do you view these conflicts? On weekends and in the evenings, we, uh, we spend time together and we talk about these topics. But you know, when you live together on this ISS, we're like in a boat together and we, we, we get on well together and we would hope that everyone on Earth would uh, get along as well as we get on, along up here. It's a very nice uh, atmosphere up here. And uh, we continue to cooperate in space uh, in all civil uh, missions to Mars. And you can see that uh, cosmic and, and space uh, exploration uh, sort of glues people together and, and the cooperation is very good. Ein Weltraumprojekt ist der Mars Roboter Opportunity. Der ist seit zehn Jahren fehlerfrei im Einsatz. Uh, uh, the Robot uh, Opportunity has been uh, on Mars in uh, successfully for 10 years. So if that's so successful, why do we need manned space flight? We continue to need both. It's not just a question of either or. Yes. Yeah, when we get uh, robots to work, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we, uh, robots are great for uh, landing on other planets, but we need the, the, uh, the flexibility of human beings in, in this ISS. But whatever can be done by robots, we will use robots for. We have a very successful year behind us. This mission, we set a new record, uh, 83 weeks of successful work per week, and that we would never have managed that on Earth. We're three people here. We have a laboratory, and this is uh, beneficial for all human beings on Earth, and it has to be human beings who carry out this work. Just a, one more quick question. Apart from your family, uh, is there anything you miss up there, like a piece of black bread with cheese? Uh, from week to week, I, I, 
I saw a television program last week where someone ordered pizza and I, I got a real craving for it. Of course, there are some practical things that we, we meet, that we need. Okay, someone gave us fresh apples. So we don't feel so very far away from the earth when we can bite into a fresh apple. We would like to, uh, the viewers of the Landesschau, I send you greetings, uh, dear listeners, to the beautiful Baden-Württemberg. Greetings from the International Space Station to the beautiful Baden-Württemberg. I'm going to say it one more time. Dear uh, compatriots, I send you greetings from the ISS up here uh, to the beautiful Baden-Württemberg, which I can see clearly from up here. And I have one request that you say just once, Hallo Karen. Hallo Karen. Und bitte noch tschüss und viel Erfolg auf deiner Expedition. Okay, and uh, bye and viel Erfolg auf deiner Expedition. Uh, all the best of luck in your expedition. Wie sieht eigentlich Ihr Heimatbundesland Baden-Württemberg aus dem Weltraum aus? Uh, what does Baden-Württemberg look like from space? Uh, Baden-Württemberg ist wunderschön aus It's beautiful up here. You see the Rhine Val Valley, uh, Lake Constance. I've seen the uh, Hohenlohe Ebene, but that's hard to find. But uh, I, I did my, uh, did see my uh, hometown, but I did eventually catch a glimpse of it. How do you feel when you look at your uh, your hometown? That's just fantastic to see things that you're familiar with and, and that, but I, I tried to take pictures to, to, to capture the view. You, you tend to see more the, the big things. You see Europe all at once. You have to imagine flying an ISS over Europe. You see all of it at once. You see Ireland on the on the one side and it's amazing how far you can see and it's fabulous when you see all the lights and I, I almost uh, feel like I'm at home when I'm flying over it. Thank you very much Alexander Gerst for these lovely impressions and all the best to you up there. Thank you. Station. From okay, first question from Cologne. Yes, enjoy your apple. How's the mouse up there in the uh, in space? Uh, it has uh, kept me company all day, uh, all the time here. It's a little bit scared. I, I envy you, uh, your, your view of the Earth. Uh, do you have a different perception of the Earth when you're up there? Yes, definitely. You, you just, uh, it enhances your perception of everything being up here. You see the like a, a big uh, ball of, of uh, rock, a round rock, and if we destroy that, then we we will have nothing left. We have to look outward to our environment. And sometimes you forget that there are dangers out there. 
that are threatening us. And you notice when you're up here, and, and you see uh, uh, a shooting star below us, and you, you're out here, and you just get a, a different view of it. But we're well on the way to exploring space and finding out more about it. You see the beautiful side. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I'm getting feedback. Okay, Sie haben auch ein trauriges um, Bild gepostet vom Gaza Konflikt. You uh, posted a, a sad picture of Gaza. How, what was what did it feel like to view that from up there? Oh, generally, that's of course something that doesn't look very beautiful from up here. It's, it's a question, question of how we humans treat each other on Earth. And, uh, if we were ever to be visited by uh, aliens or other species, how, how would we explain our behavior to them? I, I don't have an answer to that. Jetzt haben Sie mit dieser Mission ja schon Ihren Lebenstraum erfüllt. Was you've, soll noch kommen? Geht's auf die Mars-Mission? Uh, you've uh, fulfilled your dream on this mission. Uh, what's, what's in store for you next? Is, is there a mission to Mars in your future? Das Mikrofon ist wieder offen. Um, ich hoffe, the microphone is open again. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get feedback again. Yeah, you mentioned Mars. That's a fabulous idea. Perhaps not for me personally. And it's not a, really a question of whether I actually go there, but uh, but it's definitely the next step for human beings. We human beings have, uh, have been exploring the Earth and our surroundings, and we've really been exploring space only for 50 years, but we're a naturally curious species, so it's amazing how far we've come. Yes, and it's, it's a natural consequence that we will continue to explore space. Yeah, that, yeah we, we travel to the moon for a short time, and we need to explore the moon some more. And uh, Mars is, is a natural uh, next step, and we have to find out whether we have brothers and sisters out there. Uh, we, we have to learn, we're learning also how uh, the Earth is influenced by meteor, meteorite strikes. The, the most important is that we uh, tackle this project of going to Mars. Mars. In 2020, maybe ISS will be over, and then we'll have to decide uh, to decide to plan what's coming next. It's good that you mention future mission uh, trips to Mars uh, in, in the uh, following the uh, ISS. Okay. Where's the mouse? She's, the mouse is hiding. It, it's uh, hiding in a, an air inlet, uh, and it's perhaps a little bit embarrassed to be shown in its uh, spacesuit. Hello, Herr Gerd. Uh, greetings from Munich, Herr Guest. Uh, I'm glad you agreed to this interview, this uh, inter marathon interview. Okay, we are going to be on the uh, midday program. I'm happy to do it. Let's begin then. Uh, hello, Mr. Gerst. Uh, no, uh, after nine weeks, no cabin fever. It's, it's not really all that tight here. 
And we are six people, and we're, 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 six people and we're, we're spread out quite nicely during the day, and we're in the Columbus model module. It's quite nice when we meet it for lunch. And in this situation, you you are uh, you stick together and you get on well, and we've never had any uh, any uh, dis discord up here at all. And I've noticed that when I went to uh, Antarctica, and you working with Americans and Russians, and there are no problems whatsoever. Okay, well, you have technical problems day to day, and that's that's a normal thing that you expect up here. We we're on the forefront of technology, after all. Maybe hard to believe, but we uh, get on extremely well all day long together. Yeah, but during the day we each work on our individual projects and we really only meet for meals. What, what do you uh, notice about the different conflicts on Earth from up there? Of course, I listen to the news and watch the news. Okay, I, I, I upload the, uh, the daily news programs and I might read a magazine on the weekends. And I read an electronic maga electronics magazine. And I, I do keep informed, even if it's only a couple of days, a day or so later. And what do you think about the, uh, the problems on Earth and how people are fighting with each other and making life difficult? It's understandable when you're on Earth. If you have a problem straight in front of you, you would think about it. But sometimes it's it's a good thing to step back and get a, a wider perspective. And when I look out the window here, I think that our, us, we humans are often preoccupied with our small day-to-day -day problems and we get caught up in those. And we, uh, we should see the, the whole picture and treat each other better and treat our Earth better. And our resources on Earth are limited, very limited. It's, it's just this blue round rock. All that we have is on this, this round globe. And we, we cannot waste and destroy what we have on that planet, and that's that's the uh, the main thing that uh, comes through to me from up here. Alexander Gerst was that our Deutsche astronaut. That was Alexander Gerst, our German astronaut on the ISS. Thank you. Uh, a continued success on your mission and a, a safe return. Greetings from the uh, International Space Station. Thank you, Station. This concludes the event with ARD, SVR, VDR, and Seid VR. Are you sure that we can't do it anymore? That is doch. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.